Hey everybody, Dr. Schultz at the Centeno Schultz Clinic in Broomfield, Colorado. Thanks for checking in. Today we're going to be talking about the seven most common symptoms of a loose knee replacement. Thank you for checking in. What we're going to be talking about specifically today is what in the world is a knee replacement? Review the six reasons why a knee replacement may become loose. What are the seven most common symptoms of a loose knee replacement, and most importantly, how to avoid a loose knee replacement. So let's get started. Well, what exactly is a knee replacement? Essentially, it is a surgical procedure where the end of each of the bones is surgically amputated. That's right, it's actually cut, as you can see in the depiction here. Here is a diseased knee here on the left, and then they cut out the end of each of them and then they put in an artificial joint. There are many different types and many different manufacturers, but in concept, that's it. So what causes a knee replacement to become loose? Number one, excessive wear. A knee replacement does not last forever. That's right, it only lasts on average about 20 years. There are many factors that will affect the longevity, but know that oftentimes it can be just simply worn out, and with that it becomes loose. The second cause of why a knee replacement becomes loose is infection. Now the infection may be superficial, or it can be deeper, but infection always has to be in the front of your mind. Number three, a fracture. That's right. So here is the long bone of the thigh, and here is the joint replacement, and it actually got fractured. It's sheared off. So maybe the knee replacement became loose as a result of a fracture of the bone. There's quite a bit of trauma that occurs with putting in the artificial joint, and it can result in fracture. The next cause is misalignment, poor alignment. As you can see, not everyone has straight knees. That's right, some of us have a little bit of a cowboy, which is called a varus, or a knock knee, which is a valgus. And if that is not corrected at the time of the surgery, the knee replacement can actually become loose. The next one, technical failure. After they amputate the end of the uh, knee jo joint, they put in a stem oftentimes, and they have to cement that in. If there's technical failure of the cement to glue that prosthesis in place, it actually can become loose. Number six, an allergic reaction. All of these uh, artificial joints are composed of different alloys. Regrettably, some patients are actually allergic to them, and the body reacts in an adverse way, and the uh, the prosthesis becomes loose. So, what are the seven most common symptoms of a knee of a loose knee replacement? Number one, first and foremost, pain, debilitating pain that goes on and on and on after the surgical period. So, if you have uh, ongoing pain despite uh, conservative care following a knee replacement, it could be a sign that you have a loose knee replacement. Number two, persistent swelling is depicted here. You can see that this person's kneecap is right here and it's normal, but here you can barely see the kneecap and there's a lot of swelling in here and here. So the second most common symptom of a loose knee replacement is swelling. Number three, difficulty walking. As you can see in this picture, many patients just can't quite get uh, up and going on their own and they need assistance. And it's because of a loose knee replacement. Number four, instability. We see in clinic here patients complaining that, you know, their knee just wants to give out, is unstable. They don't feel capable of walking on their own. That is the fourth most common symptom of a loose knee replacement. Number five, persistent warmth and redness around the joint. Despite conservative foot care, despite cleaning it, it has persistent warmth and redness. That may mean that you have a loose knee replacement. Number, number seven, painful popping. 
Uh, that was number six. And number seven is reduced range of motion. You know, it got, the knee can go all the way out and all the way back. Oftentimes, if it can't do that, it's because you have a loose knee replacement. So how in the world do you avoid a loose knee replacement? You don't have the surgery in the first place. We did, there's a randomized controlled study, which is actually the gold standard in medical research. It compared physical therapy versus total knee replacement in 95 patients. And it had some interesting findings. Most importantly, three out of the three and four patients in the physical therapy group decided not to get a knee replacement. In addition, and you need to know this, 50% of the group that had knee replacement re reported a serious complication. So you better think long and hard before having that. So are there options? Absolutely. At the Centennial Schultz Clinic, we are experts in the management of knee pain and arthritis. We have been doing 16 years of high level research and clinical care, utilizing ultrasound and x-ray guided uh, bone marrow concentrate that contains stem cells and PRP injections. We also, like that study, completed a study where uh, we randomized patients between uh, physical therapy versus injections. And at two years, we had a profound impact on those patients following injection. We also publish all of our results. And here is the link if you want to check our results. It's a live database. We are committed to uh, establishing transparency in all of our results. So what's the next step? If you or a loved one have ongoing pain, knee pain and dysfunction, please act now. If COVID hasn't taught us anything, it has certainly taught us that time is precious. Limitation uh, should not be tolerated. Schedule a telemedicine consultation or come on into our office here in Broomfield or Lone Tree. Here's our telephone number and here's our website. Most importantly, stop the knee pain from progressing because we all know the consequences. I hope this was helpful. We reviewed the seven major symptoms of a loose knee replacement and how to avoid it. If you found this helpful, please share it. Till next time. Thanks so much.